Spider-Man G Shell. Well, well. Heads up! What have we here? <laughs> Lucky for you, I pull my punches. Oh. Ah. You just lost the Spidey lottery. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Guess I'd better check out that alarm. I'd know that silhouette anywhere. I'd better catch her. back there. It would be better if you slowed down a bit. You have some explaining to do. You're actually pretty cute when you're indignant. Yep, not really. Wait, that came out wrong. <gasps> not bad. I actually had to push myself this time. Hand over those jewels you took. <laughs> Jewels? I saw you leaving that jewelry store. You know, the one with the alarm blasting. <laughs> I don't have any jewels. Wait, what's your name? Me? I'm Black Cat. 
and I just crossed your path. Now, if you'll excuse me. I can't seem to okay. Maybe a little bit of an attitude, though. I wonder if there's a Mr. Black Cat. Ugh, what am I thinking? What's the matter? Spider-Man, a car jacket just made off with someone's car. It was just a second ago. Help! Please! Not while I have anything to say about it. to drive. Peter, I guess you're running late, or else you thought we were meeting at the movies. Anyway, the movie's starting soon, and I don't want to be late, so I headed over there. Meet me there, if you aren't already there. Ugh. I knew I was running later than I thought. I need to hurry. The movie's starting soon. change while no one is around. Hi, Peter. I'm glad you made it. Hey, MJ.
Chapter 7 Pride and Prejudice You get your license from a cereal box? Hey, Betty. Is Mr. Jameson around? Pete, he just went in his office and he was fuming that you weren't here. Better go see him. He was looking for me? Huh. Hi, Mr. Jameson. I was... What are you doing here? Get down to the sports arena, now! Huh? Quentin Beck has publicly challenged Spider-Man to go and prove he's for real. He's broadcasting on TV right now. I want pictures. At the sports arena. Okay. So Quentin Beck's gonna prove I'm a fake, huh? This, I gotta see. Hollywood effects expert and Spider-Man critic Quentin Beck has issued a public challenge to the web-slinger. Bob, what do you think? Well, Steve, it's a bold move, no doubt about it. Personally, my money's on Spider-Man. All right, we'll have to see how it plays out. Here comes Quentin Beck now. And now, your MC and host for this evening. You know his legendary work from such films as Cyborg Babysitter and Tears of an Alien Bounty Hunter, a man who has worked tirelessly for the entertainment of all mankind, Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce that master of film magic and illusion, that expert of the unknown, the one, the only, Quentin Thank you for coming, Spider-Man. I knew you couldn't resist. I don't like people building a career off bad-mouthing me, Beck. What about that newspaper man, Jameson? JJ? He just has a knack for hiring good photographers. Well, Spider-Man, now that you're here, let's get right to it. Your first challenge will be something you're supposedly quite good at. Rounding up criminals. That's it. All right, whatever. Oh, there's more to it than that. After you collect each criminal, deposit him in one of the three holding pits here. And by the way, you'll only get a point if you use the pit with the green light. I'll be competing against you, and there will be three waves of criminals. If I, with no so-called superpowers, collect more criminals than you in the allotted time, then the world will be able to see clearly what a sham you are. I don't know what happened to make you so delusional, Beck, but bring it on. Well, it looks like they're getting ready to start. 
According to the press release, the city's Department of Corrections provided the criminals Beck and Spidey will be collecting. Right, Steve. And virtually every one of these convicted criminals is someone Spider-Man helped capture, including one celebrity criminal, Herman Schulz, a.k.a. The Shocker. Well, it should be interesting to see how that affects the results. Oh, it looks like they're starting. Ready, Spider-Man? Let's begin. This wasn't part of the deal. You're gonna pay for this, Beck. Do you like my gadgets, Spider-Man? I perfected the technology on the movie Sorority Death Mode. I don't know about your effects, but your education must have been special. Spider-Man has taken an early lead. Clearly, this is one hero who knows what it takes to control a situation. You're right, Steve, but Beck still has plenty of time. As a wise man <coughs> once said, it ain't over till it's over. You're gonna pay for this, Beck. Oh, easy on me, Spidey. I'm better than you, Spider-Man. I call me free. I'm going to prove it. Hey, I didn't sign up for this. Your parents never hugged you, did they? Oh no, not again. It's the last batch of inmates, and Spidey has been showing everyone how it's done. Beck is going to have to do some fancy flying if he's going to make a comeback now. These NPCs are amazing. Oh no, not again. I watched the Spider-Man 1 movie as a kid. I watched Spider-Man 2 and 3. One of these days, Webhead, I'm gonna get you. I played Spider-Man 1 on Xbox and PS2. I played Spider-Man 2 on PS2 as a kid. Oh, easy on me, Spidey! And I played Spider-Man 3 on the PS2. I have to this trick on the set of Ninjas of Madness 4, playing Ninja. I hit you! You know, if the cool kids beat you up in school, you're really taking it out. I played The Amazing Spider-Man on PS3 and PS Vita. I watched the movie of The Amazing Spider-Man as well. I haven't watched The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I played The Amazing Spider-Man 2 on PS3 and I beat that game. That's all of them. How about it, Beck? You're very clever, Spider-Man. You obviously have more tricks up your sleeve than I expected. Still. This last challenge will prove who is the better man once and for all. Is that what this is really about, Beck? Proving that you're better than I am? I don't have to answer that. You're the one being tested here, not me. Whoa. Sounds like I hit a nerve. This is our last challenge, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen how cleverly Spider-Man can maintain his illusion of heroism. But now, all his supposed skills and abilities will be put to the ultimate test in a one-on-one -on -one challenge against me. Here are the rules, Spider-Man. I have built an obstacle course. You will start here. All you have to do is reach the end of the course, hitting these switches along the way. I, meanwhile, will be manning an electric cannon. If I see you, 
You can be sure I'm gonna hit you with the cannon. Don't worry, the cannon is non-lethal. But once I hit you three times, the contest is over and I win! That cannon doesn't sound too great, but if I back out now, I'll never live it down. Let's get this over with. Well, I don't know about you, Bob, but from where I sit, things don't seem to be going so well for Quentin Beck. I agree, Steve. He's going to have to do some pretty fancy shooting here if he wants anyone to take his claim seriously. All right, now that you're in position, let's begin. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Wow, very original. reality is way too much for you to handle. Ah, how could he? It isn't fair. He doesn't deserve the spotlight. It just isn't fair. Oh, he can't win. He won't win. That smug bug. Let's see how he likes it when I turn this cannon to maximum power. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? The laser is overheating? Oh, stupid machine. Work! Work! Come on, work! Problems with your laser, Beck? I hear there are pills for that now. This was too easy, Beck. I guess I should thank you, though. 
I really needed some good press for a change. See ya. Oh, it's not fair. It's not fair. He shouldn't have won. All the work. The obstacle course, yes, the obstacle course was good. Oh, the electric cannon, the electric cannon. Why, why? Hey, Beck, what was it like competing with Spider-Man? Is there anything that guy can't do? Beck! Beck, what does this do to your theories about the web-slinger? Uh, are you ready to admit you were wrong? Even the audience isn't real. Beck is the real phony here. Yep. Hopefully that's the last I'll hear from Beck. Look, it's Spider-Man! Problem? I think the police are chasing someone. A car just came through here going way too fast. I'd better put a stop to that getaway car before someone gets hurt. Maybe. Hey! Careful now. Say thank you. Hooray for Spider-Man! Hey! Spidey! You're the man! Need help? Oh no! Someone's about to fall! I'm slipping! Okay. Hang on! I've got you. Don't worry. You re rescued me. Thank you so much. Oh.
Up. There's a boat going down in the river! Please, save those people, Spider-Man! This doesn't look good. This is a job for... some kind of swimming superhero, but since none are around, I guess I don't have to do this. Hey, oh, Aquaman! I think I saw a shot. Don't worry, I'm here to rescue you. If a civilian falls in the water, I think there were still people out there. You have to fail. rescue them too. Let's get you out of here. Just like that. I believe I got washed all the way over here. There goes the boat. Menace. Can't believe I got washed all the way over here. I still remember that line. I believe I got washed all the way over here. Oh, Spider Man! How's it going? Hell, I just heard gunshots! Come out with your hands up! Come and get us, cop! No one's getting shot on my watch. Yikes! Hmm. Look out! So much for you. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Happy to help. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> you gonna cry, baby, huh? <laughs> you gonna cry? I'm <laughs> Wait a minute, oh, crashing the party! Booby. I'm gonna <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Come on, Spider! I'll squash ya! Ah! Hit! Move! Ah! You guys are such a nuisance. I owe you one, Look, Spidey! A big it's one! Spider Man! You got it. Give it to me straight. Do I look fat in these tights? Oh man, I I'm so sorry. Now we got you. Oh no, these don't throw me in the briar patch. Freak! I teach you. This may sting a little. Taking you down will make me a hero. Get! Move! Taking you down will make me a hero. Go, Spidey! Oh, this hurts. Which of you geniuses came up with this plan? Uh. Surprise? You shouldn't have. Trap for me or you? Show off! No. Uh, uh, you sent my brother to the joint! Who's his joint back. anymore? It's like saying who's that? Hope your insurance is uh, paid up. No, not cool. <clears throat> Next time you ambush someone, check if he's a super girl first. Well, that's it for this chapter. Chapter 7. Chapter 8, Sugar and Spice. Careful now. Say thank you. Yay, balloon! Anything I can help with? Spidey, you gotta stop those robbers. They're holding up an armored car. Crime doesn't pay. Whatever. Leave it to me. On you. This is a traffic hazard. Couldn't even wait for it to get to the bank, huh? Try not to run into my fist with your face. Start her up right of here. Get those get guys, him, Spidey. Don't worry we'll about be us. Okay. Time to put a stop to this joyride.
Peter, welcome. <laughs> Otto and I have been looking forward to seeing you again. You two chat, I'll go check on dinner. Thank you for having me. I don't know how I would manage without Rosie. When you find the woman for you, Peter, don't let her go. <laughs> I digress. Here, let me show you something. Actually, Dr. Octavius, may I ask you something? Mm hmm? The fusion reactor is brilliant, but how will you control the reaction? Ah, that is the secret, isn't it? I... I'm afraid the lecture will have to be delayed. Dinner is ready. Ah. Well, I'll explain it over dinner, Peter. Shall we? Dr. Octavius' theories are amazing. My head is still spinning from talking to him. Oh no. Mary Jane's play. If I hurry, I can still make it in time. Covered from here. Let's do this. What? Not now. Ah, that ain't so great. Looks like interference showed up. To the tanning. You okay? No, I'm fine, but they're getting away with my huh? diamonds. Huh. Ray, just take off, guys. I'm not late or anything. Go, fight it! Fight it! Hey, if You're I have late. to stick around, you guys do too. Stopping? I guess I finally have your attention. Spider-Man! Ah. 
Finally, maybe I can still make it before the end. John Jameson, what are you doing here? Well, there's this beautiful girl in the cast. Did she say Jameson? Someone shoot me now. Stalking girls now? <laughs> well, that's pretty pathetic, don't you think? Or is she on your naughty list too? Uh, not exactly. What do you care anyway? No reason. I'm just dropping by to say hi. By the way, remember those guys you beat up the other day in the art gallery? I remember. Well, it turns out there's a whole ring of them. I just happened to find their hideout the other day. I could show you. If you can take a break from the peeping Tom routine, that is. Uh, sure. I really wasn't spying, you know. You're getting a lot better at following me. I think there may be hope for you yet. Hey, I was just going easy on you before. 